Hello and welcome to another Tavern Brawl. Now, I'm going to try and make up for last week where I actually missed playing uh, the Spiders Tavern Brawl. Although I've got a little bit of an excuse for it. I was on holiday and I was in Hong Kong, which I think ought to count. And then this week we've got the Great Summoner competition where, to cut the long story short, every time you cast a spell, a random minion of the same cost is summoned for you. All sorts of potential fun and games here. Uh, obviously, you have... Uh, well, the first thing that popped into my mind was sort of Mage Antonidas decks, where all of a sudden, if you're playing Fireball after Fireball, you're just constantly summoning an awful lot of minions. It can be quite fun. Then, of course, you start thinking about uh, things like Millhouse Mana Storm as well, which can be awfully fun because all your opponent's going to be able to do is summon a board full of Wisps, which is probably not ideal. So, what I did was a lot of thinking and absolutely no doing of getting around to putting a deck together. And as you can see, because it's Saturday night at about midnight right now, I still haven't really gotten around to doing it. So, that's where my flatmate Tom came in. And uh, you might have seen some of Tom's videos on my YouTube channel. If you haven't, go ahead and check them out. He does a reasonable number of Hearthstone guides and occasionally wins games as well. Well, that's being a little bit unfair since he can kick my butt left and right in this game which uh, basically means he sits down at the computer a lot more than I do, and that's tough to do because I stream. But uh, Tom gave me this deck to use, and it looks like it's quite a lot of fun. It's going to be a druid deck, and I'm going to be honest and say I didn't immediately think of a druid deck when I saw the summoner competition. I was thinking of things like really aggro warlocks um, were kind of my, uh, my second choice to the mages here. So this is going to be quite fun. And after looking through the deck list, I can kind of understand why as well. Innovate, for example, just a fantastic spell because even though you're only summoning a zero-cost minion in the Brawl, you're still getting two extra mana crystals, so there's an awful lot of things you can do. And most of the deck is going to be centered around buffing up a lot of minions as well. So Power of the Wild, Mark of the Wild in here as well. A single healing touch in case things get hairy at any point. And then we're looking at a lot of the more high-end spells as well. Starfire is just going to be great. You get some uh, card draw as well. Force of Nature, Starfall. And uh, yeah, all sorts of good, fun things. And I think uh, being able to draw through the deck really quickly, especially with cards like Nourish, are going to be very helpful as well. So, I mean, I guess this might go well. Tom, I think, has played this deck a fair bit and is winning a lot with it. I have played zero games with it, and I've watched Tom play zero games with it. So I am going to go ahead and basically fluff this up uh, for at least a couple of games, and we'll see how well that goes. Although, to be perfectly honest, this just looks like such a fun deck to play. It Savage Raw, obviously, is a big, big finisher, especially if you've got a lot of stuff on the board already. It It's going to be difficult to mess this up, but I wouldn't put it past myself. So let's go ahead and get into the first game. You guys have heard me waffling on for long enough. <clears throat> and don't forget as well, uh, if you're a StarCraft fan watching the stream, tomorrow at 2 p.m. Central European Summertime, we have uh, the second stage of the Intel Extreme Masters EU Gamescom Qualifier on this stream right here. Right. So this... Do, do, do. I'm going to go with this shouldn't be too difficult. Let's go with that. I'm wondering if I should aggressively mulligan for the innovate, but I've got a whole bunch of twos. Can't be the worst. Oh, hello. And I draw claw first. So I guess I'm doing that. Oh, and I get a Mono Worm! Oh, that is sick! Oh, this game is sick good. Just, just leave. Leave! <laughs> oh, that's tasty. Oh. Okay, I don't like this game as much now, guys. I see how this works. Right. Let's give a minion, that doesn't really help. I could Wrath for three damage on the Robo Cub and summon. I, 
I could then innovate and play Power of the Wild and have an overwhelming board. Well, I think I'm definitely doing that. So let's do this first. Okay. I... <sighs> A minion taunt. Maybe then I play Innovate and then Mark of the Wild instead and give the Taskmaster taunt in plus two plus two. Yes, that looks better. Well, well, that's amusing. That's probably a bit better. Okay. So, so far, this game's looking pretty sweet. I still want my Mono Worm. Oh. Okay. I could give my minions plus one, plus one, actually. I don't need to summon a panther. Is there any benefit to waiting? Um, I think the board control is just too useful. We're going to do this and give our minions plus one, plus one. How random is this supposed to be? I've seen two Cruel Taskmasters and two Gilbin Stalkers. There are more two drops in the game than this, guys. What's going on? Okay. Looking forward to using Bite. Geomancer might be annoying, I don't know. Is there any reason why I would want to use that instead? I think 90% now. Um. Oh, okay. Imagine if that worked the other way around. That would be weird with Starfire. That's an annoying card. Well, this is going to be a pretty quiet turn. Oh! <laughs> Nothing can stop me. <laughs> oh, I don't believe this! I actually don't believe this! It's a battle cry, John. It's a battle cry. It's also a battle cry, as you guys might have worked out Tom's watching. But still, I don't believe this. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> oh, this is strange. This is so, so strange. Right, what am I doing? At the end of your turn, give another friendly mech plus two plus two. I don't like that. If I deal five damage and draw a. Mm. Do I just hit him to the face? No, I feel like I should keep up. This is going to be weird, but I'm... Okay, that was Counterspell. I also just realized I should have probably just spent it there. But now I've got that, I definitely, definitely... ...should clear the board. This looks strong. Okay, yep, fair enough. Summoning portal's probably not what he wanted to do there. Okay. Oh, dude! Oh, dude! Oh, dude! So that's 2, 4, 6, 10, 11. Oh, wow! Guys, this game is ridiculous! 
This game's actually ridiculous. Eleven. Twelve. No, I don't actually kill him. Don't actually kill. Oh, you know what? Depending on what two drop I got. See, this is just such a weird game mode. I should have actually considered that first. But that's okay. I think I'm doing well. Moga the Ogre is pretty fun. That's not fun. I do not like that. Whoa, he got Sylvanas from that? What is this? Well, that's useless. Well, he still has to deal with that. Uh, is there any point to summoning a wisp? Meh. Oh. Ha! <laughs> okay, there is a point, because it's not a wisp. Right. I hear you got a problem. That's a problem. That's a... That's a big, big problem. Why did you do it that way round? Why would you do it that way round? I don't understand. Hmm. Let's go with swipe. Okay, that's a bit better. And then that way with Starfire I have lethal. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, would you stop it? Good, at least... Wow. This guy's being very annoying. On the plus side... Is there a plus side? Can I... Oh, and steal one damage to a minion. Because that just says, or one damage and draw a card. And I wondered if I could do that one damage to the hero. So we're going to deal five damage and draw a card. And we're going to see what we get. Give a minion plus four attack or plus four health and taunt. That's pretty solid. Or I can deal the damage. I'm going to deal one damage and draw a card controversially. Because I think there's an outside chance. Yes! Oh, and for once I make a sensible play. All right. There we go. Start this off with a win. Ooh, and I have a pack. That's exciting. I'll open... Oh, no, we open it straight away. Of course we open it straight away. That would be the wrong place to go. Five legendaries? Nope. 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 Come on. Nope. Well, there's always next time. Alright. Let's move back into it. Let's go into game two. So what I learned from that is that the game can turn on its head surprisingly quickly. There were there were at least two occasions where I thought I was really comfortable with board control and suddenly everything flipped in like a turn. Um, it's very much make while the sun shines. I can't just sit there and enjoy board control, which is annoying. This is just... I mean... Turn one, 
can't I just play Innovate and then a 3-drop? And that's really strong, possibly. But I need a 3-drop. So I'm going to Mulligan Wrath, which... And hope. Hey! Oh! That's no good! That's no good! I need a min- wait! Yes, that's fine. Yeah, I guess that works. That's a pretty cool turn one, though. Actually, which of these do I want? Because I could play this again on the next turn and give a 3-2 Panther, plus one, plus one. That's not... out of the question. No, we'll go... we'll go with this for now. Uh... Okay, and I'm going to controversially go for the face. I don't think, as a mage, my opponent has many cards that's going to be buffing a lot of stuff up. Oh. I think I guessed correctly. That was maybe a little bit easier than I wanted. <laughs> I guess we're going one more before we hop into a break. That wasn't quite uh, how I wanted to play that game out, but okay. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. I mean, I think some I, a deck has to be pretty ridiculous to get someone to rage quit Tavern Brawl. Well, another mage. Herp -er -derp -er -der. you asked for it. Right. I don't think I want Healing Touch. Claw will allow me to summon something and probably allow my hero to kill off whatever he summoned. Then I play Mark of the Wild on turn two. I'm not sure if I'd want another one on turn three, but it's not a bad card, so I'm going to keep it. And... That's all right. Oh, okay. You know, there is an argument for Coin Wrath. Especially because Mana Worms are really, really, really good. If I claw what? and I don't kill it off, that might become annoying. So, I think Coin Wrath is the safer play. I don't know if this might pay off better, but I think this is... I prefer this. I apologize for being sensible. So we do it this way. Oh, what? Tom! This sucks! Say la vie. You made the right play, John. I'm, uh, in, I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> Oh. Oh well. Okay. Just don't savage war. <laughs> I think it's just this is a pretty boring play. Oh. There are worse one drops, John. Maybe. 
Oh, right. Oh, dear. Oh! Well, don't mind if I do. Ooh! Ooh, hello! Oh, Innovate wait, Mark it, of the Wild, Mark of the Wild. It might be a counter spell, just so you know. If I was going to build a mage deck, it would have a counter spell. Let's go with that. Annoyingly, I didn't get a beast. But I might pop in one. It's probably not the card he was looking for, but I need something to play now. That's not ideal. Not ideal. Beast? Beast! Beast makes John happy. Okay. Come on, come on. Oh, that was risky from him. That was very risky from him, but fair enough. Uh, can I consider anything other than playing Nourish? I think the answer is almost certainly no. But the Wind Fury is very, very, very annoying. Well, I think I play this first in case what I get might be useful. That's frustratingly not useful. I think I might have to... S <sighs> I don't want to suck up damage. Because that's 6 damage. 6 damage is annoying. But getting a 5 drop on the board and having 3 cards is extremely useful. I think I... S I suck it up for a turn. I want three cards. I have a lot of cards that can do damage. I'm not dissatisfied with these cards. Not the worst. Wow. Okay. A swipe would come in real handy right about now. Nope. Although, these two cards combined conveniently give me a lot of usefulness. Let's get rid of him. Let's do that. That turn could have gone worse. Let's put it that way. I wonder if there's now any... Oh. Any advantage to going to mana crystals, I was going to say before that happened. Okay.
I have nothing with charge. Starfire is not that great. Force of Nature is probably a better option preparing to play Starfire on the next turn and accepting Neptulon will be on the board for... I don't think I have a good play, no matter what. Hmm. Keep it for Savage Roar. We're going to Starfire that. I don't think there existed a good play on that turn. Or well, not a great one, anyway. That's on the board and I can't do anything about it? Fine. That's... Less fine. Hmm. Right. I don't have enough to kill him. I just... I actually just don't have enough to kill him. But, in order... I've got two marks of nature. Neither of them are beasts. Scavenging hyena, still not that great. I want to use the mark of nature because I don't want the nourish to get counterspelled. I probably want that to get plus four health and taunt. Let's see if it's a counterspell. It's not a counterspell. Okay. There's no point getting two mana crystals at this point. But he might have a second polymorph, so I'm not going to. I'm going to draw three cards instead. And that looked like... A correct decision. We'll go with that. I do need to start seriously thinking about uh, not dying. There is that. And combinations I have that might be able to kill him. Huh. <sighs> Hey guys! I'm Q R U A. I'm gonna be honest. Crookcell? Am I am I getting your name right in the chat? That's pretty difficult to work out. Okay, are we in Force of Nature Savage Raw Territory? That's extremely, extremely important right about now. I am on eight health. And I know that's not a counter spell. Ugh! Well, 
So I'm pretty sure if I force of nature savage roar six well four eight twelve I kill him unless that's an ice block in which case I die. I kill him unless it's an ice block or I feel like I should probably go for it. There might be some merit to Starfall clearing the board, but I'm about to die, so there probably isn't. YOLO! Alright, buddy. This might be okay. Uh, I could do maths, or I... Yes! I don't need to do maths. I don't like having to do maths. I mean, yay! <laughs> so I knew I died to, um, to the block. I wasn't sure if I was still going through with the shield, but luckily my opponent did the mathematics for me. Uh, I'm gonna go <laughs> for a quick break to drink a glass of water, and when I come back, I'll play a couple more games. So, so far... Things looking pretty good with this Brawl deck. Guys, we'll see you in just a second. Don't go anywhere. Back in about 30 seconds.